Hi guys. What is your name? Kaisen. How old are you? I'm three. All right, today we are going to be filming. This is his mommy. We got gone bye bye, <laughs> and I went. I got to school. Where's Kaden? Um, Kaden's sleeping. Yeah, Kaden's taking a nap, which is why I'm actually able to get this video yeah. recorded. No, I went. This is cool. <laughs> okay, so today I'm... And I went to this at a big fire. Oh, big fire? Yeah, and I got, I want to, I want to buy glass apple. Can I talk now? No, yes. <laughs> where's Lily at? Um, daddy's house. Her daddy's house? Yeah. And where's Landon? Um, sleeping. Sleeping. Okay, so today we are going and to... And I went to... <laughs> Kyson, can I have a turn? No. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Uh, green. Green? Yesterday it was orange. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Today we are going to film no, the to twins see. toddler no. update. No, I, I think he wants to do it by no, himself. I'm I haven't done an update on the twins in so freaking long. So today we are going to just do a little update on the twins. I was going to have Kaden do this video with us. But let's be honest here, if I had two toddlers sitting next to me, I actually probably wouldn't be able to say anything. So I figured this is a good time because they don't usually take naps and he happened to take a nap today. And everyone is just conveniently busy except for this one. The twins turn three on March 30th. They are just over three years old now. The twins are so insanely 100% different. I always say that anything that can be different with them Mom, is okay he is distract him with youtube youtube is like his number one like they love they will just watch youtube for hours if they could um not that i let them but they will sit there and they want to pick videos that they can watch and most of the time they'll watch some kind of monster truck video right now he's watching a motorcycle video and they know how to navigate youtube better than i do <laughs> i guess i'll start with their height weight type stuff i don't know exactly how tall they are but in comparison to each other they are pretty much the same height. A lot of the time I will post a picture of them and people are like, oh, look at Kyson so much taller. Oh, look at Caden so much taller. Um, in person, when you look at them and you compare them to each other, they're pretty much the same height. However, in terms of weight, they are significantly different. Uh, Kyson has about 10 pounds on Caden, or pretty close. Kyson's about 35 pounds and Caden's closer to like 27 pounds. So there's almost a 10 pound difference in between the two. And you could just feel it like when you pick them up. Kyson is thick. Neither one of them is like super, super skinny or super, super chunky. I feel like they're both about average, but Kyson is just significantly like, like huskier. He's just really thick. Whereas Caden is like really, really scrawny. In terms of like clothing sizes, they are so vastly different. Depending on the brand and depending on what kind of like clothing it is, Kyson, I usually buy either a four or a five, a size four or a five. And Kaden, his problem is that he's really tall and really skinny. So when you buy things like size like three or four, it'll fit him lengthwise, but it won't fit him with, it'll be like really baggy on him. So I usually stick to buying like a three for him and sometimes it's even still too baggy. But for pants, it's like my constant struggle with this boy. He is so skinny. His waist is literally like this big. Around his waist, he can still fit in size 12 or 18 month clothing. However, it's too short for him, obviously. So I will usually buy a size two for him. Depending, I'll like look at it and try to see. And I mean, those like inside waistbands that come inside of like the, the pants, if you guys know what I'm talking about, they have the things where you can like undo them and then you could pull them through and button it. It's basically like a belt on the inside. That is a savior for that child because that kid would have no pants that ever fit him. Kaden also has bigger feet than Kyson. Kaden is like in a size nine shoe and Kate and Kyson, I can't even get him straight. Kyson is still in like a size seven shoe. They also both just had physicals because as of today, they are enrolled in preschool and they don't start until, I think it's like August, but today I actually enrolled them into preschool, which I am so, it's just bittersweet because on one hand, it's I am excited for them. They are so ready to be like it, somewhere in an environment with kids other than their siblings. But at the same time, it's just sad. Like, where did my babies go? They're so big now. So they had physicals last week and everything is perfectly healthy with them. There's nothing wrong. They got their vision checked. They got their hearing checked. Everything was good to go. They are also both potty trained. They've been potty trained for a long time now. 
However, Kaisen just recently regressed and he has started having major poop problems. And it's not in like a medical problem. Like he, it's not that he can't go, it's that he refuses to go to the point where he'll go like two or three days purposely holding it in. And I've had to give him up to this point at least three or four enemas because he refuses to go. And when I do it, the poop comes out like normal. It's not, sorry, this is way TMI, but most of you guys are moms watching me. So hopefully this is okay for, to talk about, but the poop comes out normal. So it's not like he has constipation issues. And I took him to the doctor for it. And they said, this is very, very common for his age. And it actually happened around the time that a lot of other things are happening, like with the haircut and stuff like that. So I think that that's probably related to it. I have yet to have this problem solved. And if you guys have any tips for him he was going perfectly fine but other than that Kaden is 100% potty trained for pee and poop potty trained Kaisen is still 100% pee potty trained he just refuses to poop in the toilet or anywhere for that matter he won't even poop in a diaper oh that's the other thing I hear watch this mom about 20,000 times a day watch this mom watch this mom so I guess I'll just start with Kaden's personality Kaden's favorite movie is Wally -E, currently he loves the movie Wally -E. Kaisen's is, I don't know, he likes all different movies. He requests Despicable Me a lot and Monsters, Inc. But Caden's recently, every time I ask him if he wants to watch a movie, he's like, yeah, Wally, Wally. Caden is also very into stoplights right now. I know it's kind of weird to say, but we'll be in the car. Mom. He can see the lights and he'll be like, red means stop, green means go. We'll like be coming up on a light and he'll be like, oh, it's red, stop, mom, stop, mom. So we'll sit there, it'll turn green and he'll be like, go, mom, go fast. Speaking of talking, Tyson's vocabulary is significantly more advanced than Cadence is. He just started forming longer sentences. So for the most part, he would say maybe yeah. like three word sentences. And just this last week, he actually started talking more and saying more words that I haven't heard him say before. But this one is just full on sentences. He talks all the time. Cadence's favorite color is green. He will usually tell you green. And I, my theory behind that is because Gravedigger is green and purple. I think those two, green and purple, are pretty much his favorite. Caden is also my veggie eater. Kaisen is my fruit eater. Kaisen likes strawberries, blueberries, bananas. Kaden likes bananas, but he mostly likes things like corn and carrots. Yeah, so he's just more so my veggie eater. Kaisen is more so my fruit eater. Mama, I want water. Okay, go get some. <laughs> They're both very, very independent, but Kaisen is he acts like he's more dependent than Kaden is. Like Kaden wants to do things himself and he'll get mad if you do something for him that he wanted to do. Like that is a huge thing with him. He is a big boy. Mom, I'm three years old. I could do whatever I want. <laughs> Whereas Kaisen is like more like, oh, help me put my pants on. Oh, help me get some water. Help me do this. Kaden's not like that at all. Kaden is also kind of like more routine oriented. He likes things to go the way he wants them to go, the way that they usually go. And if they go out of order, then um, it doesn't make him very happy. Kaden also needs more sleep than Kaisen. He is always in bed first and he always wakes up last. So he's usually, he would be happy if he could go to bed at seven and wake up at nine and still get like a two hour nap during the day. But like I said, most days he does not nap mostly because we're up doing things and doing activities. Um, and we're just out of our normal routine right now because Lily is out of school. Once we get back into school, we'll have like a better routine going. I have noticed that Kaden needs more sleep than Kaisen does. Kaden is also very imaginative. Um, he can take any toy or any stick or rock or piece of dirt and make it into whatever he wants to. And he'll just have this whole, his imagination is just huge and recently any of you guys know Kaden at all he has an obsession with monster trucks like hardcore obsession with monster trucks and just recently like this past week um he has not bathed and slept and done everything and gone everywhere with his grave digger he has put it down and i don't know at what point there was just one day when he didn't wake up with it and he kind of stopped taking it everywhere with him so he still is like obsessed with monster trucks but he's not like as obsessed like there's a point where his grave digger bathed with him slept with him went everywhere with him no matter what it was like his dance class and went everywhere with him and now he's kind of like weaning himself out of that phase speaking of weaning i have had a lot of people ask me if Kaden is still breastfed because Kaisen weaned himself when I was pregnant with Landon. Kaden continued to nurse um, until well past two and he is not nursing anymore. He stopped nursing um, probably at like two and a half and his baba aka his pacifier he calls it his baba 
Um, he doesn't use it at all during the day, but he still does need it at night. And I'm not sure how to break that. If anybody has any tips on how to break the nighttime passy, that would be much appreciated because taking it during the daytime was really easy. He only has it at bedtime. He'll get it at bedtime and in the morning I'll take it from him Mama. and he's fine without it all day, but he really relies on it at nighttime. <laughs> on to Kyson. I kind of talked to Kyson a little bit. You kind of heard him. Cool monster truck. Yeah, it was a cool monster truck. He likes a little bit of everything. He doesn't have just like a few select things that he is really obsessed with. Um, like Kaden, for example, with the monster trucks and the colors and um, Kaden is very particular about how things are done and who does them and Kaden's and Kaden I can't get these kids straight. <laughs> Kaisen is not like that He likes a little bit of everything and he will try a little bit of everything He's also the better eater Kaden is a lot pickier Kaisen is will eat pretty much anything you put in front of him Kaisen's vocabulary I touched on this a little bit. Sorry. I'm kind of all over the place Kaisen's vocabulary one day he I swear he I mean they've been talking forever but one day Kaisen woke up up and I swear he just like out of nowhere was like hi mom what's for breakfast and I'm just like what the <laughs> where did that come from Kaisen is also much more aware of his environment significantly more aware of his environment more than any of my kids actually he is also the shy one if he's around somebody that he doesn't know he does not open up very quickly he takes a little while to open up most of the time he's very observant and he takes people's emotions seriously on himself so he'll like we'll be watching tv like if i'm watching something on tv earlier we were watching the little couple i don't know if you've ever watched that and the little girl had to go to the doctor and she, he saw that she was like crying she had to get a shot or something and he gets immediately like his whole emotion changes to whatever he sees so if somebody else is happy he'll be happy and if somebody is sad he'll be sad like he just picks up immensely on how other people are feeling and how other people are responding to things and that's how he like picks up on that a lot kaisen is really 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 good at what he does he, he can hit a ball with a bat like every time you throw it to him he is also really strong like he is it's coming to a point where he's gonna pass me up on strength pretty soon because he is like unrealistically strong like it's insane but he's so so extremely sensitive he's a very snuggly he is known for his snuggles mama want to snuggle he wants his blankies he wants his snuggles he wants his hugs he wants his kisses and Kaden is kind of the opposite he is very independent and very much like I want to do everything myself don't snuggle me don't get me my stuff I want to do it myself and I, I don't know they're just their personalities are just so I don't think I could freaking say that enough. They're so, so different. They're so opposite, like in terms of everything. However, in terms of their relationship with each other, they are absolutely brothers. For the longest time, they didn't really notice each other. They didn't care to play with each other. They didn't really have like that twin connection that a lot of people talk about. And just recently, they started like doing everything together. All of a sudden, they're like brothers. They want to do everything together. One of them is sad. The other one wants to come like see what's wrong. If one of them's hurt, the other one will come help them. Um, so just recently, they've had this amazing connection and it's just, it came out of nowhere and I love it. It's just adorable. Sorry, my camera just died. I don't know what I was just saying. So let's see. I'm trying to think what else to update about them. Overall, they're both really just extremely loving and caring individuals and they're very friendly with all kids. They make friends really quickly. Even though Kyson's shy, when it comes to kids his age, he makes friends really fast. And I think the term three-nager fits them very well. They are also um, well-mannered, I think, and very talkative, as you can see. I go in the helicopter. You went in the helicopter? Can I go? Yeah. Who's going to drive it? Um, me. You? Yeah. Do you own a helicopter? Yeah. You do? Where, where do you keep it? I keep it it, I keep it at the store. At the store? <laughs> Who's your favorite person in the world? My mom. Aww. <laughs> You're so sweet. Hey, can you show me what happy looks like? <laughs> can you show me what sad looks like? <laughs> can you show me what mad looks like? <laughs> I can't think of what else to actually update on. I think that might be it. If there are any questions, we should do like a Q&A with each of them. I think that would be fun. I think it would be fun if we did like a Q&A with each of the each of the twins. I think that would be a fun idea. So if you guys have any questions for Kyson or Kaden, you could go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And I will try to get to that video eventually. I think that would be cute. Do you have anything else to say? Yeah. What else? Mm. I don't know.
All right, well, I think that's all that I have for this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions and leave mm. some more video ideas down in the comments below. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys for our next video. Can you say bye? Bye. 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 <laughs> Did you wake up from your nap? What's your name? He's being shy. He just woke up from his nap. <laughs> oh, you're still tired. All right, we'll do your video a different day, okay? Can you at least say bye? Bye. Bye.